This is the build I just finished uh, earlier this morning. It's my rendering machine. I'm priming it right now, seeing what temps I'm gonna get right now. It looks like I'm at uh, 56C. That's at uh, 4.8 gigahertz on an AMD 1090T. It's a nice 1.6 gigahertz overclock I got going on this right now. Fully water cooled. Six gentle typhoon. GTAP 15s and push pull configuration. Red LEDs. It's a uh, XSPC DDC uh, five and a quarter bay with uh, Swift Tech MCP 35X pump. All uh, Primo Chill, Primo Flex, UV red tubing. XSPC. Uh, Raza CPU water block. It's a 24 gigs of G skill rib jaw, cast 7 RAM over. It's overclocked right now to uh, 2000 megahertz. I got the RAM overclocked too. I'm waiting for my video cards to come in. I'm going to be running. Uh, a Crossfire X set up with four ATI 6950s uh, unlocked to the 6970. That's my other little computer down there running a little iFinity dual monitor thing. Let's see if I can get this with the lights off. It's not a bad little machine. Gets the job done. It's pretty nice looking. The case is okay. I really liked the case when I first bought it. I'm starting to actually not really care for it too much. I have another case, um, uh, Mountain Mods uh, Ascension, which I'm working on. That's going to be running my, uh, my 980X Intel setup. The, the cooler that I took out of it that I swapped out for it because I don't know this is the Noctua the NHD 14 I took the fans off of it and stuck them in there so you can see I got the the 140 back there and I actually have the 120 in the little air cooler compartment for the video cards but and then I had some uh, some crappy ass little Yate loons that I just stuck on there really quick I'm actually gonna throw this in another in another machine that I'm I'm building you know, do a little overclock on it. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's quiet. That's one of the things. This thing's dead silent. I mean, you're talking about uh, a 1.6 gigahertz overclock. Let me turn the music down. I mean, it's pretty much dead silent. The GTA P15s that are running that are running on there are only um, I think at full full speed or 26 decibels I think or whatever and then like the the 230s the the cooler master mega flows I think those are only like 20 decibels or something like that oh, something backing up outside it's not a bad machine. That's being water cooled next just for the hell of it. Just because I feel like it. XSPC actually manufactures the uh, the water blocks for it, which is actually pretty cool. I got a bunch of extra pumps and stuff like that and tubing just from because I have so many builds that I'm working on. A box of computer stuff. I 
it's not bad. I mean, this thing, this thing will be pretty beastly when it's all set. It'll, I mean, it'll be up there. My uh, my 980X setup will obviously be um, more powerful, but I mean, eh, it's whatever. You know, this thing will will be actually they'll probably be on par, pretty much almost gaming gaming wise. The um, the Intel will be much better, like encoding and, and stuff like that. So I don't really know what I'm going to do because I have three machines right now. I have the the AMD the 1090T. I just bought a, um, a new Sandy Bridge Intel 2600K that I'm going to play around with, and I have the 980X set up. So I mean, I'm going to be running pretty much three of the best machines on earth. So. But this one I just completed today. This was the first build. I had everything here. It was already a complete machine. All the parts came in for this one. So, worked on it a little bit overnight. You tried to bleed some of the air out and stuff like that. And, you know, I got it pretty much all good this morning. Shook the piss out of the case, make sure there was no air bubbles. Fired it up. Gave it a little bit of time. Now, now I'm benchmarking it. And right now I'm at, mind you, this is, this chip is factory, 3.2 gigahertz. So 3.2 gigahertz with a 3.6 gigahertz um, turbo core, which means that three core, it will knock off three cores if you're not using them and take three cores and bump them up to 3.8 gigahertz. But factory clock speed per, per six cores is uh, 3.2. And I am running a 1.6 gigahertz overclock. I'm running at 4.8 gigahertz right now at a 1.58 volt CPU at a 3000 megahertz north bridge at a CPU north bridge voltage of 1.4125. And here you go. Fifty-seven. It peaked out at sixty. Well, almost sixty. Fifty-nine. And you can see my ambient temperature in my room right now. That's at seventy-four degrees. It's twenty-five outside, but seventy-four point one in here. I'm at fifty-nine, and that's at uh, four point eight gigahertz, which isn't too bad. Not too bad. I mean, this thing's like can heat my room pretty much. My room was like 70 degrees like a little while ago. I have to have the window open. I mean, this thing just throws massive heat. This radiator, the GTX 360, is an awesome rad. I love it. Uh, I don't know. Just figured I'd make a video, just showing what uh, what I had done so far. When the rest of my stuff comes in here, like I said, I'm waiting for video cards to come in. When my video cards come in, um, I'm actually doing a separate loop. I have a, a second um, GTX 360 that I'm gonna run six uh, Gentle Typhoon AP15s on push-pull. I'm gonna mount it. My, my computer's not gonna stay up here. I just had it up here for whatever. But my computer's not gonna stay up here. I'm actually, this desk is gonna be gone and I'm gonna have it sitting down over there. But I'm gonna have a, uh, GTX 360 on the back with six uh, gentle typhoons and push pull uh, just for the video cards and that should be good I mean I'm pretty much gonna be running almost the same thing in my uh, in my Intel desktop I don't know it's pretty uh, pretty beastly machine like I said, everything comes in, I'm gonna throw everything in. I gotta set the water blocks up and stuff for the video cards. Create another loop. I mean, there's enough room in there. I'm gonna have to remove the little air piece thing because I'm not even gonna bother needing it anymore. But I have enough room to actually fit another, um, another one of these dual bays in here. I have this space here. Right now, because these pumps kind of run kind of hot, I just have like a spare 140 millimeter fan just underneath it, just blowing up. Just to cool it down a little bit. Cause I mean, the, the, the pump does get hot and they're actually known for frying out, but. 
I mean, I'll probably leave it there, but I don't know. I might get like a, they sell a heat sink for it. I might get the heat sink for it and just mount the heat sinks on the bottom of them. Maybe get a little tiny fan or something to stick in there. But I have another room for another bay that um, I'll throw in there. And I'll have two of these, one dedicated for the CPU and uh, one dedicated for the video cards. And that should be more than enough. Oh, that's it.